This segment of Naperville Sports Weekly is brought to you in part by the Naperville Sun. Well, Bonzi Valley head girls basketball coach Kim Connell with me. Coach, this is your third season. How have you seen this team progress in your time here? Um, I, I don't know if we've necessarily progressed. We, we pretty much have been steady for three years. I've had the group of seniors that I have now, I've had since sophomore year, and we, we, they've just been pretty steady. I, I mean, I, I guess overall I'd like to see a, a, a little more improvement, but we, we, we've progressed steadily. I mean, our, our defense, if you want to talk about what our staple's been, it's been defense, and that's pretty much remained constant all three years. How do you keep these seniors hungry? You know, a lot of them have been on this team for three, four years. How do you keep them hungry when they step on the court? Um, well, they, you know, the good part about this group is, is they're very self-motivated. Um, you know, their, their first year when they were sophomores, we were conference champions. Took a step back last year to Bartlett. Um, second, now it's, it's us and Bartlett, you know. So they, we, we have that big challenge next week. Um, you know, and they, they, they want to get that title back. What is it like playing against some of those top tier teams? You know, you got the Bartlett's in the area, the Bowling Brooks. It's, it's a very competitive area for girls basketball. How does your team, you know, rise to the competition? They, you know what, we, like I said, we, we, don't, we never get too high, we don't get too low. We're, we're pretty steady in the middle. Um, it, it, Coach Sarbaugh and I, we don't necessarily stress Bartlett big game and then maybe a lesser opponent not so big. We, tr we, try and, we try and keep every game the same. We try and keep our same focus, you know, because we don't want them to get too high or get too low. What were some of the challenges this team faced coming into the season? I know you had a senior, Becky Williford, that was hurt. Yeah, well, Becky Williford, uh, beginning of the summer, went down with an ACL. All summer long, we had various injuries. I never had a full team. Um, it, it, it was a frustrating summer for us. Becky's now back, she's not necessarily 100%, right. but she's at least back practicing. She's been, uh, played both games, like anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Um, you know, and as soon as I think we're completely healthy, we all intact, I think we'll be, we'll be all right. You've had one of the younger players and Shannon Holman step up in Becky's absence. She's normally a shooting guard, but she's been running the point for you guys. Yeah, and she, you know what, she's done a heck of a job. Like I said, she, she's, a, she's, a, she's a Tammy Marisi, she, she's a shooter. Um, but she stepped in what we needed her to do, and, and she did it well. Tammy had to help in the point guard. It was kind of like almost point guard by committee. Mm -hmm. um, Shannon, I mean, she's, she's done a great job. And then once Becky's back, we'll put Shannon to where she's a little more comfortable, and then we'll be able to give uh, Tammy Marisi and Erica Jordan a little more rest. They won't necessarily have to be on the court the whole time. Does it really mess up your offense that much when you guys sort of have the point guard by committee? Is it like you know, putting a backup quarterback in, in a sense? Yeah, because there's certain sets that we can't run effectively, that we run a little more effectively when we have Becky. We're a little more quicker. You know, even though we're not the quickest team, we're quicker when Becky's in there. Um, so that, that, that'll just be a plus when we get her back 100%. Even without Becky, this team's been able to show its quickness. You guys have made runs of 17 nothing against the Huskies, you know, 12 nothing against Neighborville Central. What has worked for this team on both ends of the court to make them so successful? Well, yeah, it's our, our defensive pressure, and, you know, and then we get the transitions. But what I'd like to see is when we make those runs, sustain. Right. I mean, basketball is a game of runs, but I'd like us to see, you know, to keep that 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 margin of you know in the positive end instead of letting the team back in within two or three baskets. You guys have four players on your team that are six feet or taller. I mean, you never see that in women's basketball almost. Does that allow you guys to play big if need be? Yeah, I mean, Rachel Ross has the most experience. Um, Ryan Johnson, who's our sophomore, she's still a little raw right now. Um, when she gets around the basket, she does, she does great things, you know. She, she's, on a, she's on a little bit of a learning curve. Um, but yeah, it, it enables us to run a few different sets than we would run with the four guards in, in, in one end. So when you have that defensive, you know, tall person, does it help the team sort of, you know, dominate the paint? Yeah, we do, I, you know, but even with Rachel, uh, you know, Tia Brooks is one of our team leading rebounders right. and she's not a six footer, you know, so I don't necessarily equate height with rebounding. Rebounding is just, it's a pure gut instinct, just work hard and get the ball. It's more like an athletic skill to be able to box out and stuff. Yes. How does this team use this athleticism to its benefit this year? Well, we, uh, I would say if we had a positive, it, it, it's, it's our, the athletic talent and, and uh, our physicalness, because sometimes we're not the most finesse team. 
Um, you know, the negative side of that would be we have a tendency to get in foul trouble. Um, but I like the fact that we are athletic and I can, I can put like our guards, you know, Tia Brooks, Erica Jordan are basically guards, but they fill in at the post position, right. you know, so they're, they're athletes, they can play at any spot. So really some of your positions are almost interchangeable. Yes, yeah, so that's why I don't, I, I have guard posts. I don't really say point guard, center, forward, you know, they can pretty much play any spot. Well, the team's had a lot of early season su success, but what are some of the things that you guys need to work on to get better? Uh, staying out of foul trouble. Uh, like I said before, being more consistent. You know, when we make those runs, 17 to zero, 17 to two, then maintaining that. A um, uh, little more focus. Uh, if teams are going to beat us, they got to be because they're better than we are and we can't beat ourselves. Right. That's what we have a tendency of doing of not making very good decisions. You know, so our decision making's got to get better. Um, and then just staying out of foul trouble. Do you think the experience of this team is going to come into play, you know, as you get later on into the yeah, season? Yeah, I think so, you know, because we're, we, all, this year mirrors the first two. I mean, our competition have been the same teams. You know, it's going to be Bartlett, it's going to be Neuqua Valley, um, you know, Lake Park gave us a challenge, you know, we're, we're hoping to get the sectionals and, and hoping to get another test at Bolingbrook. All right, Coach, well, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate your time and best of luck this season. Thank you for having me.